Gautam Navlaka has walked out of prison a day after the Supreme Court's 24-hour ultimatum to the NIA. The academician Gautam Navlaka, an accused in the Bhima Koregaon case of 2018, has been released from Taloja Central Prison uh, just a short while earlier. Let's go across to my colleague uh, Sohit, who's following the story. Sohit, we have those visuals. Finally, him being released 20... Uh, Sohit, uh, 24 hours after the Supreme Court's ultimatum to the NIA, uh, Navlaka is finally walking out of jail and he will live under house arrest for the next month, something the NIA had objected to in court? Absolutely. Uh, well, the Supreme Court had allowed Navlaka to be placed under house arrest due to his deteriorating health. However, the NIA had objected to the house arrest, citing security concerns over the chosen premises. Appearing for the NIA Solicitor General Tushar Mehta as well as additional Solicitor General S.V. Raju had told the court that the building belongs to the Communist Party and that it was not a flat but part of a public library. But later, uh, the court dism uh, dismissed the NIA plea and warned that if uh, you are trying to find a loophole to defy our order, we will take a serious view of it. And now, uh, Gautam Lakha, uh, now Lakha has been released. And However, giving out the order, the court has also imposed certain conditions which includes a CCTV surveillance, restrictions on use of phone, as well as no access to internet. The court has allowed Gautam Navlakha's uh, partner, Sahiba Hussain, to stay with him instead of his sister. So yes, uh, more than a week after the Supreme Court's order, the Bhima Koregao case accused Gautam Navlakha on Saturday has been released from the Taloja Central Prison, and he will now be placed under house arrest at a community hall in Navi Mumbai, owned by the CPIM party. All right. And the court, I remember, Sohit had uh, dismissed the NIA plea, warning the probe agency that you're trying to find a loophole to defy our orders. We will take a serious view of this. So the court having uh, strong words for the, uh, the NIA represented by the Solicitor General there in court. Thanks, Sohit, for that update on the big breaking story of the day.